Track storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Welcome back. I'm joined now by Storm Team 3 meteorologist Travis Clark-Smith. Travis, those colder nights are making a return, and honestly, I can't say I'm excited for it. <laughs> they sure are, Sananda, and we are going to be getting a pretty much a blast of fall tomorrow. And overnights are going to be much lower. We're looking at some frost, maybe our first freeze of the season. Today, though, was a little bit cooler than it was yesterday. Here in Rochester, we were right on the money when it comes to the average high temperature for the 12th of October, 60 degrees here in Rochester. Elsewhere around the area, a little bit warmer. 64 was a pretty popular number in Austin, Albert Lee, Forest City, and Charles City. And Mason City topped out today at 66 degrees, a little bit warmer down south of the Iowa border. In Rochester right now, 47 degrees. Winds are coming out of the east at six miles per hour. They are very light right now, but they will be flipping around to the northwest and coming in very strong tomorrow. We'll get into that here in just a minute, but let's take a look at Mason City. It is 46 degrees right now with calm winds, so enjoy that calmness because here in about 12 hours, it will be a very different story everywhere around the area. Taking a look at satellite and radar right now, we did have some clouds earlier this afternoon. Those moved out quickly and we are looking at clear skies right now. And thanks to those clouds passing out of the area, we were able to see the comet that we had that picture of at the top of the newscast. It was the first day that it was visible today, but it'll be visible for the next couple of weeks through the end of the month actually. And as days go by, You'll be able to see it a little bit higher in the sky each day as we get closer to the end of the month. It will be brightest between now and the 21st of October, but it, again, it will be visible to the naked eye through the rest of the month. So if you want to get out there and take a good look at it, you want to get out there right after sunset, about 15 to 20 minutes afterwards, and viewing is good for about 45 minutes beyond that. You want to take pictures, long exposure, about five to 10 seconds will be your best bet. And of course, use a tripod to keep those pictures steady. As we take a look at the rest of the night into tomorrow, we're looking at pretty clear skies for now. A few clouds will pass to the north and a few rain showers will also be north of Interstate 94 in Wisconsin. But the main story will be the wind coming out of the northwest and it will be with us through most of the day. A few clouds here and there, but the sun will be out. And then as we go into Monday, a few more clouds as well. But as I said, the winds are going to be the story starting first thing in the morning. We're going to be up into the 30s for the gusts and that will only get higher. By noon, we're looking at 35 to 40 mile per, 40 mile per hour wind gusts through the afternoon. They will start to die down through the evening, but they will be with us through the day on Monday. For tomorrow, 53 degrees, we're looking at cloudy skies and windy. Winds out of the northwest around 20 to 25 miles per hour, gusting up to 35 to 40. As we take a look at the seven day forecast where that weekend is always in view, we are looking at temperatures dipping down into the 50s, but we'll be warming back up into the 60s and 70s by Thursday and Friday of next week.